Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Dominions 4, The Thrones of Ascension, Death March of the Penguins. We have researched level 7 in Evocation. Lord Potato has Absued and found nothing. Soup has Dark Knowledge and found nothing. Coldfeet has Gnome Lord and found nothing. And Batman has Harrowspexed and found nothing. We do have, however, Guardians of the Eternal Ice and Corrupted Ladane, Bunch of Blood Slaves, another battle in the Sea of Woe. Oh, looky here. We have the God of Pelagia, Medion, the Titan of the Sea. A little bit of fire, tons of air, tons of water, Staff of Numbness, which is worthless because he could just cast a spell, but I guess it's no fatigue. He has that thing, uh, the Dancing Shield. Okay, he's a pretty tough character, a lot of gems. Coming at me with serpents, but mostly just cheapy little trident guys. Although there are quite a few of them, and I think they all have poison of one kind or another. Could be wrong. Oh, and they have nets. That's not good. So let's see how this goes. I wonder how much help the Wooden Warriors is doing for us. Probably quite a bit. The battle lines are very sharply defined. Oof. Yeah. Somebody in the comments many, many episodes ago said that the wave fighters were kind of not strong, and I beg to differ. I mean, they have more than carried their weight in these battles. They've taken on serpents with fear, they've taken on armored troops, they've taken on unarmored troops with nets. In general, they are holding the line. So I'm very proud of them. I think they're quite good. Ooh, smite. That was a good one. Oh, and he's running. Did we hurt him? Did we do anything to him? No, unfortunately we did not. Oh well. At least we ran him off the field. Battle at the Fortress of Palame. Ah, yes. Our second wasteland province. With a castle, anyway. And they're already running. Okay, good. Did we lose anybody in the... Ch oh, we lost a few guys with the initial javelin throw, but okay. Sea of Woe, we are now storming the fortress. I don't think we lost enough troops to really make a difference, no. And it's the usual nonsense that we're used to, except now we have these guys, the Pearl Mages, who have the same skills we do and not as good at it. We did lose some children in that last battle, though. There's only a... I haven't... I've never summoned any of them since then. These guys have been wasted since the beginning, because I've been summoning the Guardians of Eternal Ice lately and the Frozen Mammoths. But maybe I should get more of them. They're expensive, though. I think they're 20 gems, whereas the Guardians and the Mammoths are only 10. Well, they're holding the gate pretty strongly. Let's see if we can get a little closer there. Now, there was this, there was this key command that Tokshin used that allowed him to see the colors of the units on the squares underneath where they stood. Team Dog Squares. Oh, the number, the one at C. Okay, see that? So now it's a lot clearer who my guys are and who their guys are. Not that you could miss it because we're giant penguins with spears, but it helps, I think, a little bit just to keep track of who's winning in these kind of melees. So, we lost. Eh, we still have 100 guys, basically. Our Wave Fighters have taken it pretty hard. Our Frozen Ladane also have taken it pretty hard. Pazux. Sibrigal, the Deer Tribe Warrior, has joined my cause. He claims he can run like the stag and fight like the forest lion. Okay, sounds interesting. Ionia. Misfortune plus three and eight units have been cursed. Excellent. Hopefully with some of my great heroes. Lonely Cave. Misfortune plus three. Oh, good. Love my luck, Dominion. Ladane. A malevolent conjurer, jealous of your power, has sent a demon to slay one of your commanders. Oh, crap. Who's doing this? Machaka? Starlet is guarded by the Ancestors. And where are they? I don't see Ancestors. Does it say who you work for? No, but oh my god, that's a horror, isn't it? Or some kind of blood thing? Starlet doesn't have a chance. Or does he? Wow, Starlet, you're a beast. You took out that demon like no problem whatsoever. You took out a Shadow Imp. I don't even know where they're getting him from at this point. A merman scout and a black servant. 
Okay. Unfortunately, no new castles for us to siege. So, I'm my gem amounts are getting up pretty high. That's really good. I'm moving my death guys over to the capital so they can start using those death gems. Although, I think Soup might have to... Where are you, Soup? Here? Yeah, Soup might have... No, he only has one death. So, hopefully that'll be enough to forge the death staff. Otherwise, we're going to have to empower somebody. Or summon the, the demon guy, but we're not even close to getting him. I'm waiting on sending these guys out because their morale is so terrible. And I just remembered that I want these guys to be in line formation, which will give them negative two morale. So I'm waiting for Mega Caesar to forge the Horns of Valor, which actually only gives you inspiration plus one. So it's not a great solution, but it is a solution. Cold Feet is gnome loring along with Pingu. Eventually, once we run out of places, Cold Feet is going to start forging more hammers and other earth artifacts for us. I'm having everybody else forge what they need to forge. I keep getting these earth guys, so I'm just having them research here that I don't really have much use for them. Death would be a good, blood would be really good. I'm continuing to build temples. Cyanus is building one here. I just have these two. I'm, I'm having all these guys, JC Destroyer, Big Nasty, Mr. Penguin, Polat, Banshee, and Beer. I'm having all them come and attack this place. Oh, there's extra troops for them. I guess... I guess here. But we'll give one of them to Big Nasty. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll give... Okay. And pull that, we'll give you him. Polat's fantastic. In fact, Mr. Penguin, why don't I just give your entire unit here to Polat? That makes sense, because now they have better morale. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Alright, so they're attacking there. I'm leaving Skinch up here to build a temple, and I'm moving everybody else down. As you can see, my dominion's growing nicely. I split up my bear leaders. Bear, bear leaders, yeah. Bear leader, yeah. Fire Lungs is moving here. This is kind of where my Machokan Assault is going to start, and I think they're ready for it because they have a fortress here. And one here. So this is going to be a fun little... This is going to be our roughest flank right here, especially because our cold dominion makes these rivers passable at all times. Although theirs is hot, so that might help. This will be an easier flank, I think, because only... I only have to hold two provinces, and then I think I'm going to move my demons down the middle here. But first I get them their items. Looks like they've taken this independent province. So, yeah, Machaka is running out of things to do before declaring war on me, so... It's probably going to happen pretty soon. I'm getting some... Oh, because of this guy, I'm getting some vision here. I think Baratos is pretty much finished. I don't see them anywhere. We are not going to let up. We're going to move against Pelagia down here. And we're going to improve some defense here. I forgot to do this in the last turn. In fact, it's terrible, but hopefully hopefully it'll be okay for a while. Unfound door, some astral pearls, great. I do have Puffinatus, but I'm recruiting... Oh, no, I know. There's a lot of things I haven't done here that I should have been doing. Okay, am I recruiting... No, I'm not. I'm out of money. Okay, so Puffinatus is just going to join our watery friends. I am out of money. I only recruited one leader, Master James, and he's coming out here. I've given him a bow already. I'm gonna, like I said, my new fighters aren't really gonna be the lead troops. I mean, maybe occasionally when I need them to, but for right now, they're just gonna be extra units to shoot arrows. And that's really that. I have next turn. I have my my new arc mage. In fact, I'm not gonna be naming regular Ladane mages anymore because I only have three more names on the list, so they're all just gonna get arc mages or. Ice Keepers, depending on what I need. And that's that. And as far as research, we're at level 7 of Evocation, which I don't think does anything for us. We're trying to get to Maelstrom here. I, mean, I guess we now can do Ice Strike, which I actually scripted somebody, somebody to do, so hopefully that'll be good. And Storm of Thorns, which might be good too. Alright, good. End the turn. Money's really short. I am making a ton of it, but I have so much upkeep with all these heroes and troops running around. I really need to consolidate. 
and just Blitzkrieg Machaka. We'll see how that goes. Okay, Dark no Oops, we're raising Frozen Mammoths, yes. Dark Knowledge, we found a new site in Dead Marshes. Well, that's appropriate. Apsu, oh yes, a new water site, good. No new Earth site, but a new Earth site in Velvet Ocean. Nothing in Pazux, and nothing, okay. So we're doing a whole lot of site searching here, as you can see. The Holy Sea. <laughs> that's clever. That's kind of what they refer to the, um, the Vatican as, right? Okay, they had a bit more here than we expected. And hopefully they won't flank us. Oh, that, that's not that's not good. What are those things? Little baby sharks. Alright guys, guard your commanders. Guard them with your lives. Looks like they're doing okay. Some of them are already running. We have their god. Frozen. Oh, now he's unfrozen. We're doing, we're doing really well. I mean, I'm very proud of these guys. This little undersea expeditionary force has, has really impressed me with their abilities. Now, if we can just get their god, that'll make things all the better. Although, we're not able to hit him because he keeps... We keep freezing him in ice, but that is hurting his... Fatigue? No, it's not. He has no fatigue whatsoever. Oh, right, because he's used to the cold. Cold means nothing to him. But we're hurting him. We may kill him. That would be wonderful. Oof, that was a good hit. We got him. The god of Pelagia is dead. The fool dare to challenge our wave fighters for supremacy of the ocean. And we lost only five wave fighters in that entire assault. And we found... After the battle, something interesting was found on the battlefield. Cursed found A of the Messenger. I assume that means Boots of the Messenger? That's the only of the Messenger that I know. You killed our god! Yes, yes we did. How perceptive of you. Fairy Court? Okay. Growth, luck, some sloth, but whatever. False Pretender, great. Shambler skin armor, lost some population. Some Earth Gems. A Shadow Imp. And the gates, or the these two fortresses still, still are not falling. And that is with all of these people here. And I, I know some of them have... Yeah, JC Destroyer has the Siege Horn. I thought we had two of those. Somebody else must have one somewhere else. I don't even know where anymore. Everything's just so mixed up here. But all these guys, this, there must be a lot of troops in here or something. Or it must be just a great... No, it's just a regular, regular fortress. I don't know, but we're, we'll hold out. I have, no, I have no qualms that we'll be able to take them out when the time comes. Ancient Furnius, what are you doing, buddy? You aren't leading any troops at all. All you have are your guards. Ancient Furnius, we're going to get you some troops. You don't need to be here. Let's bring you up to... What do you call it? To Abyssia. We have all these guys here. Supply usage 54. So we can't really get any more guys here. There's not enough supply. They don't have the, the horn. Where the hell is the horn? Maybe I... Did someone die who had it? Oh, everyone's healed here. Wonderful. We're going to move all them down here to fight against Machaka. That'll be great. It's a pretty big army here, and they have 360 wolves and fire ants. I'm not really shaking in fear. Let's name our new friend here. You are not Ub. You are... Eldest Wolf. So I think that's our, our second wolf. We have 
Luce, well, we had Lucius. Well, we have Lucius Ice Wolf. I think he's still alive. And we have another wolf, don't we? Lone Wolf, Lucius Ice Wolf, and you all like wolves, I take it. Eldest Wolf. Eldest Wolf, we're going to give you some bodyguards. They are going to guard you. We are going to give you a bow of war. And we can use a horn. I'm sure that'll be helpful. And you don't need the ability to breathe underwater. You can already do that. So that's good for you. You're solid. You know, I'm going to start having people make just cheap little armor for my guys, just so they have better protection. Alright, let's see how, let's see if this makes a difference here. So, Cradleye Blade. Let's give you the horn. Okay. Zero morale. Alright, and then if I make them line of formation, negative one. Well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. You're gonna hold, stay behind troops. And I believe you're not amphibious, no? This will give you some protection, why not? I just got it for free anyway. And you have a bow? Well, now you do. I know those two swords look awesome, but... I don't want you engaging in melee. So you are going to... Fire closest. Alright, and we're going to wait to get a horn for Inglorious Canadian and eventually Mogays. Moe gas, however you pronounce it. So the horn just makes them passable. It doesn't make them great. They don't use much supplies though. Are they need not eat? Oh, that's awesome. They are. Yes, I like that. Okay. Machaka is not going to know what hit him. Do we have anything new here? Yes, we do. We have a new Archmage. Welcome to the team, Tulmac. Tomac, thank you for patiently waiting. You are old, so you will get some boots, and I'll give you this scale. And I'll give you the uh, elemental. So you're all set up. And, oof. Wow. What kind of leadership do you have? Two squads. Alright, so you can have some bodyguards. And... I'll give you the Frozen Mammoths. Actually, can I put them and the children in the same unit? Or the Guardians? Oh, I can't. Oh, this is nice. Negative one morale, though. Oh, because they're undisciplined. Right. But who cares? They have 50 morale, so it's 49. These guys are sacred, though. These guys are not. I don't think that makes a difference, though. Although, they would be fight better with a priest helping them out. That is great. This, this, is, this, is, this is cool right here. And Tolmac, what did you get? Oh, four air, Tolmac. So you are going to mist form, and then you are going to thunderbolt or thunderstrike. What's the range on that? A hundred. Nice. Yeah, you just keep doing that. You just keep doing that as long as you can. Oh, wow, that was awesome. Wow. Ah. <sighs> Sorry about that, folks. I'm just showing you a little bit behind the curtain of what I'm doing with these guys. Most of my commanders are... I'm just telling what to do between episodes, but I figured this was cool because we have a new Archmage, and he's got frozen mammoths and... Ch uh, not children. So-and-sos of the Eternal Ice. Tolmac, you're going to head out. I guess everybody goes here first because we can't make it here in one turn. Dad girl. Oh, that's right, we made the horn, so we did not make you. Let's just let's go ahead and forge you your reinvigoration. Hi, Mouse, you can research. Ask in Starlid. Let's save up our gems for when we get Maelstrom. Aphanstus, can you forge us? You cannot. Okay, you do need... No, you just need... Yeah, you need death magic level 2. Alright, well, Aphanstus... As you are the first death mage here in the capital, you are the fortunate recipient of an empowerment in death magic. Congratulations. We should probably give you some guardians so you do not die. All 
Alright, well ladies and gentlemen, that's all I'm going to show on video. I will take care of everything else behind the scenes, but mostly I'm just going to move troops around, get things ready for the eventual assault on Machaca. I'm surprised that these two fortresses are holding out as long as they are, but once I take this, I believe Abyssia is gone. So actually, Capaldi, we're probably going to need you to patrol in case the god comes back to us, that awesome phoenix that we love so much. So much. In fact, all you guys probably want to come over here too. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Things are going to heat up in the coming turns as we fight against Machaka. Have a good one.